Mark, a really tough away performance today. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, it ended up being a, a tough afternoon. Um, I thought we started started well. I thought we frustrated at times. The game plan was working working well. And uh, again, we've momentarily switched off. We haven't tracked Mullins' run, which we've done quite a bit of work on. We didn't quite get across quick enough to, to negate that, that problem. And uh, look, they, they showed their, their quality today. And... Uh, he duly dispatched that one, and um, I, I felt that we did frustrate. We did block. We did block well, uh, and we had plenty of counter-attacking opportunities against the wind, um, which we didn't quite make enough of. You know, crosses flashing across the box, but we've, we've got to be in there, and we've got to make uh, any moment that you get. We've got to try and make more of, and uh, especially away at Wrexham, um, which you know they obviously showed their quality. They made the most of their opportunities. We didn't make the most of our opportunities, and uh, <laughs> footballs about what you do in both boxes. Um, Wrexham have a, a big arsenal which can hurt you and, and they done that. But what we can't do is help them along their way and that's a frustrating thing. The, the, the not tracking Mullins run effectively enough or getting the inside support before that. Um, not defending a 1-2 properly um, twice down our side and then we're 2-0 down and then it makes an uphill struggle. The third one is a lost count of how many quick free kicks they, they made and <laughs> we haven't reacted to it. Uh, it wasn't. A, we didn't think it was a foul. While well, we contest it, they're, they're often playing. Um, they showed all their professional uh, experience out there, and, and we didn't. And you know what? Maybe that's what was the telling factor. Is that we've got lads learning now what it's like to be a professional footballer. It's not about a few games here and a few games there. It's about 50 game season. It's about week in, week out, and it's about moment in, moment out in games. And uh, at the moment, we're getting those moments wrong and we're getting punished by very good teams. Because of course, going into the game, we knew it was going to be a tough game. You mentioned taking chances there. Obviously, in the first half, we had a few glimpses of, a, of an opening goal, but it felt in the second half, maybe the steam rendered up not finishing the way we wanted it to in the second half. Yeah, the second goal was, was a blow and we need to defend it better. But the first half, we put a lot of work in and, and we had to win the second half, which I really felt we could get on the ascendancy. And the next goal was always key. And... Uh, like I said, we've we defended it softly and been and been punished. Um, you know, we'll never search for excuses. We're, we're you know we're learning as we go along. Um, but we, but sometimes some some of the lads, you know, have had six hours today to get here. You know, some have come from Southern Car School. Uh, you know, we've got here late. We've got here at five past two. Um, so you know, our preparation wasn't ideal. But this is what being a professional is about. You know, nothing's ideal sometimes, you know, so you've got to find a way. Um, and after our first half performance, where we had glimpses, we had flashes across the goal, we, um, we, you know, we've had shots, we've had corners, we've had long throws, um, and we haven't made the most of them. Um, and like I said, Wrexham showed us what it's like to be a proper professional and getting your job done um, and, and sticking to your role and responsibility throughout the 95 minutes. Um, Last time we played Wrexham, they hurt us. I feel that they've hurt us again today. Last time they did that, we it was a reset for us. It was almost bottom of the bottle, and um, we need to use this as a catalyst for us today, like we did like we did previously. And um, we need to take the positives because there was some out there, um, but also we've got to get back to being consistent over 95 minutes. Of course, a number of changes were made. Obviously, most of come straight back in. Also, Alfie Saunders was given the run out. What was the thinking behind those? Yeah, look, Alfie's been training hard. Um, and I thought he'd come out and he had a, he had a, he had a good performance, Alfie. Again, a typical him. He's, he's all heart and desire fight. He delivered some lovely crosses as well. And um, look, most Sillers, again, we've thrown him straight back in after one day's training. He's been missing for 10 days. And look, these are, at the moment, you need to, when you get your shirt, you need to be getting hold of it. Because for the first time, we have got players more fit than, than I ever have all season. And now it's about people actually making my mind up as well and getting the shirt and claiming it because at the moment it's uh, a little bit loose now it's open for interpretation so we've got to like I said use this for a catalyst we've got to get back on that training ground don't lose belief like you know thank Wrexham for teaching us some lessons today and uh, we, we've got to learn them learn quickly and we've got to come out fighting now I'm looking for people to stand up and be counted I'm looking for people to learn quickly um, we'll be stronger for this experience I'll make sure of that um, but we need to, you know, really, really turn the corner now and get back to what we were. 
You also looked at your experience head in the side as well. Obviously, a new one comes in today, Colin Daniel. He, he, obviously, we lost 4-1, but he showed glimpses of what he can do at left back. Yeah, definitely. He played, showed some, some real positives coming out there. I think he showed his, his quality at times, leaving some balls in good areas where we chased down and, and got something from it. Um, again, another player has joined us on Friday. So, um, you know, I'm sure he'll be better the more he, we bed him in as well. And it's good to get 90 minutes out of him, like we got 90 minutes out of Sammy last week. So, I said, again... Two players with more experience than most of our group have got at the moment, Colin Daniel and, and, and also Sam Matthews. So, you know, we're going to need that at the moment. But we've got, to, we've got to make sure we find the right balance now out on the pitch and we make sure that we uh, show consistency throughout. I wanted to ask you about the, obviously, transfer activity off and also the attacking options. Obviously, Scott Wilson's gone back. My has gone for another month. A few fans might be questioning, you know, the other striking options we have. I just wanted to know your thoughts on those decisions. Yeah, look, we've got Harrison Paniatu, Ryan Glover, we've got Tommy Willard. Um, we've got Jacob, so we have got attacking options. Uh, Mo Betemer, unfortunately, was out on loan to get fit and he didn't probably quite get the minutes that we would have needed, so I don't think he's ready for, for 90 minutes. That's why we've let his loan go out. And look, Scott Wilson, unfortunately, didn't get again, wasn't probably right match fit, ready for us as much as I would have liked. So, um, you know, we might have to revisit that, that area. Um, but at the moment, we've also, there's, there's plenty of areas we need to brush up on. Um, we're always looking to be... Um, as strong as we can in, in all areas and we'll be, we'll be no different we'll reflect on the game and we'll work hard next week to, to put this right a brilliant opportunity to do that on the BT cameras against Stockport at home next week yeah absolutely like, you know, we, we were wanting this game to be it it, it hasn't. We've we've mi we've missed a we've missed an opportunity today. We can't we can't afford to miss another one. And uh, look, Stockport, top of the league, and rightly so. You know, Wrexham won't be far behind them. Um, and we've got to learn the lessons that we've learned today. Uh, but we've also got to come out and and show that we are that we are men and we're ready for this challenge. Are you in the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.